All right, so it's been a little while, but we did get a lot of stuff done. Um, you're gonna have to excuse the mess because I'm not cleaning up for y'all. But since we last spoke, we have got all the baseboards down in the house and painted. Then we got these fancy new curtains up. Um, never mind. Oh, yep, yeah, we turned that on. We got a new light for the dining room. Super fancy. I like, I love it. Then I think I showed you guys we got the reset slice done in the kitchen and the living room. We got a new light for the hallway, which we had 60 watt bulbs in it at first and it was brighter than the sun. So we, we changed that up and then we got all the, the door trim up and then a new light for the hallway in here too. So yeah, for the most part we've been here for, I guess just right at a month, maybe a little bit longer. We kind of got everything moved in. Um, we did all that. So and today we are going to finally start working on our backsplash because you can see the kitchen has been done except for this one little area here. So we went with the just the standard cheap white subway tiles. We're going to do the black grout. Um, these were the cheap ones. You had 15 cents a piece. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cheap. We got a laser level and we got real levels. We got a wet saw and a dry saw and hopefully everything that we need to do this and some Christmas lights because we're getting ready to go do that too. So we have no idea what we're doing, but let's see what we can do. All right, I just realized that I did really bad on my updates. So a couple other updates before we get started is our hot water heater started leaking so that cost us eight hundred dollars we did install some security cameras we went with the arlo pro 3s which we love uh, they've been really nice and because of those cameras we were able to see a big fat bear walk through our yard which was very exciting because there's bears here but we've never seen one and that was about as close as i would like to be as seeing through a camera so that was cool footage we have footage we do have footage of the bear we'll add that in right here Um, what else we did? Really just- We got a cool lawnmower. We ended up getting a Cub Cadet zero turn because the yard was taking us three hours to mow. Now it takes us 40 minutes. So that was awesome. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. We've looked so. at a lot of basement options. So we should be starting on that hopefully yeah. after we get done. After we're gonna we epoxy get... our table. We're gonna, yeah. But right now we'll we're gonna, that. we're gonna do um, this subway tile. So. We, uh, we've got these spacers. We're gonna use these spacers to kind of start. It, it should be really easy to start because it should just be mostly one row. Um, we're going to use the type one tile adhesive. Um, and then we're gonna do some grout later. So I'm sure we're not gonna get to that for a little while. Uh, let's see how this goes. Here we go, you ready? I'm ready. I think you just slide some on. And again, I'm winging it. Smooth it out, right? I mean, because, yeah. And then take this. Do you, oh, do you want me to get that corner? Um, I don't know. Do we probably, need to probably need to make sure. I think that's probably pretty good. I have no fucking clue what we're doing. Um, hold it. You already got it all over you? Well, I just don't want to get it all over the front of the tile. Oh, yeah. Okay, so these are pretty good. So we'll just slide that in. Make sure that we're lined up with the edge and we'll push it flat. No. No. Alright, let's make sure we're even. Alright, let's make sure it's level. Can't do that. 
Since this is just going to be a straight cut, we're going to use the dry saw and um, hopefully it works. You line it up right there. That looks centered, right? Wait, where's the thing? Is the cutter even on there yet? I don't know. I thought you put it together. I didn't. I just pulled it out of the box. Oh, I think that we might have to put the I cutter on there. I think so. I think it's, uh, no, it's already on there. Okay, you sure? Positive. Okay. So, so like, you got to put it on the towel. That, okay. That's got to clamp the towel down. No, that's how you break it. We did it. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Well, that's not even though. I didn't do a good job of cutting, so. Hey, right, let's see if it works. Okay. Okay, so here's our progress from day one. I think we are gonna try to finish this section here today. But here we go. Not too shabby. Now, a couple things I wish we would have done made some measurements and then maybe switched up a little bit so we didn't have to have these little bitty pieces right here. So I would have made those pieces a little bit bigger and then these over here a little bit smaller, but that's one of the things we didn't plan for. But the wet saw is actually really nice. It was one of the cheap ones. I think we only paid a hundred bucks for it, but so far, I mean, you can see we cut around the outlet, so it's doing its job. So we're gonna finish this up and I guess we'll move on tomorrow. All right, so we're on day two of putting in our backsplash. So as with everything with this house, you can't probably see it on camera, but the wall bows right here, so it's not perfect, but I think it's gonna be okay. Just this one pops out a little bit. So hopefully when we put the grout in, that won't be so noticeable. And then we had to pull this one out because somehow we got a spacer missing from it. So luckily it hadn't been 24 hours, so we were able to pull it out. So we're just gonna keep working. We gotta go down this way, this way, this way. We had cinnamon rolls for breakfast. And yeah, hopefully we'll get that done today. Probably won't get the grouting done, but hopefully we'll get all the towels done. Let's do it. Okay, so the dry saw works pretty good for just about any kind of little straight cut you're making. But if you need to make any kind of like um, notch out or anything like that, then you gotta use a wet saw. So we bought the cheapest wet saw you could buy. Um, so, I mean, I don't think I would recommend that because we're not able to use the guard. This is supposed to be so you can do this, but we can't get that thing to work. So I've been freehanding it. So, and then also you gotta be careful when you first turn it on because it shoots water at you. But let's cut some stuff.
and that is how you use a wet saw. Well, that's how I use a wet saw anyways. Okay, we're so, let me start over. <laughs> okay, so we're still on day two. So we got all of this done today. Um, we were gonna wait, maybe try to finish up tomorrow, but we've decided it's only like 3.30, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up. So we've got the stove pulled out. So the only area that we've got left to do is just there. We did put a board there um, temporarily to hold the tiles, because that's how low we're gonna go behind the stove. And then we're gonna go all the way up so let's get back to work. So we are officially on day four of tiling the backsplash in the kitchen, which really, it's, it's kind of like day three, because we only spent like two hours finishing up yesterday. But we got everything done. All the tile is now on the wall. Um, our spacer game, these spacers right here are way better than these spacers here, because yeah, I thought these spacers were gonna be good, but you can't use it when you have when you're staggering them like this so these right here worked out to be really good so we use those the whole way through but here it is <laughs> now we are getting ready to grout so what we're going to do is we're going to go to get i'm going to go in front and make sure i've got all of the um adhesive cleaned out of all off all the towels and out of all the joints which she's been working on that a little bit, so it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna make sure. And then this is, we're gonna use a black grout on it, the flex color. Um, so we're gonna try to do a good job. Uh, we're gonna, the biggest key to that is to make sure you wipe it off the tile before it dries, because once it dries, it's really hard to get off. So we're gonna try really hard to do that, and let's do it. So we figure this is going to be the hardest part since it's so small. Well, but you can't, you're not supposed to move it. You're supposed to move it in a, like a diagonal angle and I don't want to get it on countertops and everything else. So, but we're going to do this for a couple minutes and then we're going to wipe it off. Probably end up using our fingers because we suck at everything. But that right now so far looks pretty good. I would have, I don't know how to get in this small area, so I definitely would have, well, you're not really supposed to do that. It worked. What? That's gonna look amazing. Let's see. Okay, this is definitely not as easy as they make it look like on YouTube. It is super messy, and it's very hard to get all the angles you need to to get it inside of there. But it looks like it's going to turn out okay. We're gonna start wiping in a little bit, and let's keep our fingers crossed.
Okay, so it was really hard to try to film and do the grout and everything at the same time. So what you got is what you got. Really the trick to it is just realize you're gonna make a mess and just deal with it. But as you can see, we are all done. Ta-da! Another project done.